Hello everybody, this is Capitalist from Join Dota. I have with me Bone7 of Cloud9. We're going to do a short little interview with him, uh, a little pre-match interview. You guys have an upcoming match between uh, yourselves and going up against Virtus Pro in the uh, Consolation Final. Are you feeling pretty confident about it? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think we most likely going to win. I don't want to say too much. Maybe, I mean, I, I don't see yeah. us losing at all. So. I don't see us losing at all, so I don't... Okay, so you, what do you, okay, so in this case, you guys have already seen Virtus Pro, and that was a little bit of a surprise, though. I mean, what, what really happened in that series, though, when you guys faced up against Virtus Pro? Well, the thing is, usually, I don't think we focus that much on that game, because what we do, in, especially it's like the playoffs, and we, like, it's a top four placement or whatever, but, like, before the matches, we didn't talk about picks, we didn't talk about what we're going to do or anything, so we just, like, the game started, and we were like, oh, we're, not, we're picking now, what are we going to do, right? Right. But now, uh, now we just like I mean, now we already have a plan. Like we set something up yesterday, and we're gonna talk about it uh, today. So we're actually like, like we're respecting our opponents way more today. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, and, and that actually seems to be I feel one of your guys' biggest strengths is that you guys seem to you're very strategic. I think when you face up against certain teams, you is that normal for you guys to go into a specific match, uh, like a tougher match, say you're going up against EG, and have like already a planned out. Uh, draft and strategy that you feel is going to exploit the enemy team's weakness. I don't, I don't think we have specific plans against specific teams that much, but we do have a lot of like we have we have a, like maybe three or four really strong strategies like we use. Right. Sometimes, um, I mean, some are better against other teams, I guess. Against VP, I mean, there's nothing really special. We're just gonna have a stable C9 pick okay. like that we've seen before, like most likely. Against DG, we're probably gonna mix things a bit, but I can't say too much, I guess. So. Yeah, right, right. You want to keep that under locks, I understand. Um, real quickly, I just want to ask your opinions on Virtus Pro and Evil Geniuses. I want to get you start with Virtus Pro. Do you see any like major weaknesses there that you feel like the team uh, still needs to develop a bit? Because honestly, them making it this far is a bit of a surprise. I didn't think that they were this strong of a team. Yeah, I mean, the weaknesses are kind of obvious after, like, if you watch DG versus VP, right. like, you understand that, like, they, if you, like, if they need, like, 10, 15 minutes of space to, like, farm or anything, like, they're done against DG. DG is mm -hmm. just going to go, like, six, seven minutes, minutes in, it's gonna get, they're going to get, like, two towers on their safe lane, and then, like, everything is over, because if you, I mean, you can win, I guess, but you have to farm. Like, people just try to fight them for some reason while they're pushing. Like, that makes no sense. I don't know. Right. Okay. Yeah. And what about Evil Geniuses? That's a tougher opponent you guys have faced a lot in the past, and I feel like that's one of the teams you probably know the best. Yeah. I mean, EG is probably the best, you know, the second best Western team right now. Mm -hmm. So... Do I you mean, place Team really Secret above them? You said second I best. I, th I think they're, they're equal. I think we're all equal, really. They're yeah, okay. Just... Um, well, they're really, really, really strong EG at punishing like uh, greediness early on. Like, not really greediness, but like just if you have like, um, like you, for example, if you have a center off lane, like right. he he needs like 12 minutes of like peace so he can get a dagger or something. But mm -hmm. they, you're not going to get that thing. You're not. You just you need to have a plan that like kind of stabilizes the game from the beginning so they can get ahead. So would you agree with what, um, I had an interview with FNG and he said that um, EG, I think the way he put it, that they were really good at when you had maybe just a small mistake in your draft or maybe even a play or, or there was some sort of weakness in your draft, Evil Geniuses really knew how to lock onto that and really push that button a lot. Is that, is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, like we played in, in China at WEC, I think, like we first right. played Void and they usually first pick Naga like counter and then yeah. they're like what they're gonna do they're gonna uh, carry Naga or whatever no they just like support Naga so they, they have the pugna and they just give it yeah. like 11 minutes like they always have uh, kind of cheese strat against some some picks right for sure yes. okay man well uh, I know you're probably still prepping and everything so I'm gonna let you go here do you have any uh, real quick shout outs you want to give before you get into your uh, two series ahead yeah I mean uh, shout outs to my team our fans and uh, my sponsors uh, Logitech Jeep uh, Alienware HyperX Penguin, and I think that's it. All right, man. Thanks so much for taking the time to have this interview. Uh, guys, we have more interviews coming up. Uh, join Dota, youtube.com forward slash join Dota Plus. Uh, hopefully you guys heard this. I know it was a little bit louder than expected, but uh, we have more interviews coming up from DreamHack.